Hey guys, this is Gus from Hardware Unplugged. And today we're gonna to be checking out two MOS pads. We're gonna be talking about the Extra Pad Thunder X and the NPIT Resin MOS pad. Now I haven't opened or tried this MOS pad yet. I have been using the X-ray pads Thunder X for about two weeks. Um, I'll talk more about that MOS pad later, but for now let's talk about this MOS pad. So this MOS pad came packaged in a cardboard box. Very, very nicely packaged. The MOS pad did not arrive creased or anything. It came it arrived perfectly fine. But I do want to point out that this is the package it came in. So after taking out the cardboard box, this is what it came in. It came in a plastic film and the MOS pad came packaged fine, but there's no there's no cardboard box to store it in, right? So because the other cardboard box is pretty freaking huge, right? They protect the MOS pad very well. Good job on that. But let's say I want to put this if I want to put this MOS pad up and store it, well, I won't be able to store it anywhere safely. You know, it's going to be out in the open without any packaging or any cardboard box to store it in. So that's something that's something I did want to point out. OK, so like I mentioned before, I've been using the Thunder X for about two weeks maybe a little longer than that and i don't like this moss pad a lot it's a hard pad it's a speed pad it's faster than all of the glass pads that i've tried it's pretty freaking fast i like it a lot a lot a lot and that's the reason why i actually was curious enough to try the end pet the end pet speed m gaming moss pad sorry that name's a mouthful i reached out to end pet tech because the way these reviewers have been describing that moss pad it's, they describe it as a hard speed pad. And well, the extra pad Thunder X is a hard speed pad. And I like that moss pad a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the NPEC Tech moss pad and compare the similarities, the differences, see which one's faster than the other and see which one I prefer. Now, this is not a full review. This is just a first impression. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, take it for a spin. Um, so if you guys do wanna see a final review, let me know down below and uh, make sure to subscribe. So let's go ahead and unbox the Speed M Gaming Moss Pad. So there's two sizes for this Moss Pad. This is the large. The large is 450 by 400. The extra pads Thunder X is 450 by 400 as well. This comes in at about $45.99 on Amazon. You can apply a 30% coupon code during the making of this video. Um, the X-Ray Pad Thunder X is $29.90 right now on X-Ray Pad's website. Now, I know their shipping is a little steep. Um, how much is shipping? I don't know. I haven't checked it out. Um, but I know shipping is pretty expensive on uh, their end, right? They also offer different colors for the Speed M Gaming Mouse Pad. They offer the red, the black, and they offer two anime themed mouse pads. So a total of four options, four colors, right? Or or for a moss pad option to choose from, where I suppose the extra pad only comes in the black, right? Let's go ahead and check out the Speed M. All right, so there's a plastic film in the back of the Speed M moss pad. So you go ahead and peel that off. Yeah, so there was a lot of static when I removed that uh, plastic film. This reminds me a lot of that um, alpha cell base. This reminds me a lot of that alpha cell. It's probably gonna be stickier than the extra pad ones because so if you look over here you can kind of slide the thunder x around and never move when i was playing so i was swiping pretty hard um um oh apparently not that hard because i was able to move it right now you see that it moves a little bit um, that that really wasn't an issue for me um i don't lay my whole forearm and swipe really hard but for those who do that's gonna be an issue for the for you guys on the thunder x right let me go ahead and give you guys a close-up of the uh, Thunder X surface and compare it to the uh, the resin. I mean, and compare it to the speed M, right? So that's a close-up of the surface. Let's see if you guys could check that out. All right, now let's check out the Speed M. So. One of the things I noticed is that the Speed M has like this sparkly surface. I don't know the camera can, yeah, the camera can definitely pick that up. See, it's like sparkly. So to the touch, the Thunder X does feel smoother, right? And the Speed M, you can feel more of the texture on the Speed M, right? So let's try a mouse real quick. So. Again, I've been trying the uh, Thunder X for a few weeks and I like it because it feels really smooth. Um, 
it does it will eat away your feet if you press really hard um i haven't really noticed it destroying my feet but i imagine if you press extremely hard on your mouse press down on your mouse yeah you're gonna notice your feet wearing off pretty fast right so i like the thunder ace because it's pretty let's watch check it out this is you guys see that pretty speedy right sapphires these are sapphire mouse skates these are from um, infinity mice yeah infinity mice uh, skates i'll be using both skates so i've been trying these both mice both different skates obviously these sapphire skates perform faster on a thunder x for those who want to know yeah so i use the mouse pad a lot it's pretty fast i play really well i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some gameplay on the thunder x and again i enjoy my time with it so now let's check out the uh speed in hmm. that's pretty interesting but well, this moss pit has them um, i want to say the speeds around the same yeah for sure the speeds around the same but this has a little more control to it and i feel it's because of that texture that the moss pit has right um, I truly won't know until I get into the game, right, and play. But um, so far, I mean, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, now, does the mouse pad move? Okay, yeah, you see, I'm putting quite a bit of force, and this mouse pad is staying in place. Just doing hard swipes. Okay, so that's. A plus for the speed m right so this mouse pad's not gonna move on your desk it has a really good base um i want to point out that you can also notice the right here this foam in between the uh base and the um, surface right another difference i want to point out right now so this is the thickness of the extra pads thunder x and this is the thickness on the um speed m as you can see the speed m moss pad is thicker one thing i do like about the x-ray pads thunder x that moss pad sits flush with your disc so you don't even feel it when you're playing this yeah you can feel that going up and down you're gonna feel that i don't think i'll mind it i never really mind edges like that i really don't care about edges like that um but if you are someone who already hates moss pad with sharp edges that might be something to consider but yeah i can't wait to play some games so let's go ahead and take the speed m moss pad for a spin After the day break, making out with my failures, pacing like this, I make case, thinking claim for future monetary advancement. Walking to a super last group with enhancements. Where I go from, inspire me to go numb. Eradicate my feelings while I go dumb. Heart throws over the no closer. Up at the hour. Found this is the money that I power over with me. Sour tower over my competitors when I squat. So when legs at full length, I get the extent, the have not. Transferred over the half not. When you're hell at a time like they've been one of their past blocks I moved up from my last spot Now the plan is my mascot Representing out to your face Fraudulent argument that cats better than an MC On the lyrical that's half hot The statement there is the ass shot The soul controller, the soul controller The soul's weapons I chose The whole lot of easy and cool I ain't got time to burn the train oh. I'm working late till my tummy break from the plate and this is what Carlos thinks about both mouse pads. Do still wield the double nine for any scum sucking motherfucker trying to trouble mine. The three fundamentals, the rest is irrelevant. The two fundamentals, we draw no analysis. The sweet one us is lethal, so you best stay away. Tune into the up and they cut the power to face. I'm the murder power to play when I'm raising the face. Ain't gonna be much greater than lace. I'm still alive, so amazing to play. I didn't have dreams, shot at team scattered, I just made it. Now 
blazing after the day break, making out with my failures, pacing like this I vacate, staking claims for future monetary advancements, drunk into a stupor, Lex Luthor evil enhancements, the streets where I go from, inspire me to go numb, eradicate my feelings while I go dumb, heart goes over to no closure, up every hour, about to get the money, get the power over this sour tower over my competitors when I squat to an exit. The Thunder one? Yeah. Um, so... The thunder, uh, it feels like really freaking smooth. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would say it's definitely smoother than the resin pad. Yeah. Um, I was able to tell big time. Like it was, yeah. like it was really fast. It, it was almost like really effortless for me to move the mouse and track, right? Yes, uh, tracking. I think is where it shined big time. Like yeah. I was able to track yeah. really freaking well. Exactly. Um, my flicks, I feel like they were like a little off. To, damn, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get gameplay because instantly plays off. Tracking felt pretty damn good like my tracking was really smooth surprising even though i i hate i hate i hate i hate hard pads um but you know i kind of like this one um i don't know if this will wear down your mouse feet honestly yeah. uh i feel like it kind of doesn't i don't know what's up right um maybe it's me but these new hard pads yeah they're definitely they don't they don't have that roughness as the old pads did um, I know I mentioned this one kind of felt like the glorious, what's it called? The glorious Helios? I, like, I think. Like, like, yeah, the, yeah, the air. Yeah, glorious yeah, that, Helios that, slash air. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that one, I was able to feel like roughness, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I was able to feel like almost like, like scratchiness to it. Yeah. This one and the resin pad, I didn't feel that with them, dude. I didn't feel no, any. Right? No, they, they, they both feel really smooth. This one's smoother, though, in my opinion. Yes, it is, it is. Um, I can't, I can't like them both, but if you, like, Okay, like, what do you want to know? Like, uh, like, which one do I like more? Yeah, which one do you like more or, out of the two? Uh, surprisingly, I think I want to say the Thunder. The, the thunder? thunder, dude. Yeah, the Thunder <laughs> one, but the resin pad's not bad. It's I, not. I, I like the resin pad because it's something new. So, yeah. you know, it gets points for that, right? It, yes. it gets points for something, you know, for at least trying to be new. Um, I like that. Uh, the thunder, uh, ironically or not, the bass. Guess what? It doesn't move on like that. That's so fucking. That's so, so freaking funny, dude. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. They can improve on the bass for sure. Um, yeah. But I do like both pads. Uh, but this one, uh, the thunder, I just had a slightly better, more experience. Yeah. Bass. So so the so the bass um, on your desk on the, for the thunder, it's better than the resin pad. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. It, it doesn't. It doesn't move. It doesn't move on my desk. See, I had the opposite. I felt the opposite way. The resin pad stayed on my desk, but the X-ray pad Thunder, that one was. If I if it stayed on my desk too, right? But if I'm able to, but yeah. if I put a lot of force on my forearm and make hard swipes, it'll move, right? Uh, dude, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, but see, if despite that, I still like the X-ray pad one just a little more. Like if the resin mm -hmm. pad. Like right for me, right for the because it sticks better on my desk. If the resin pad yeah. had the speed of the thunder, I would have I would have preferred the the resin pad more. The, okay. uh, the speed yeah. M, right? But since the X-ray pad one is the faster one, it's also smooth. I like the smoothness too on it. So it's smoother, it's faster, and what I liked about it too was that it sits flush on your desk, so you don't feel that edge on your arm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. To be honest, yeah. So. Now that you mentioned the edge, I did feel the edge a little more on the resin pad. Not as much as on this one. This one's yeah. really thin. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I really couldn't feel it a whole lot. I mean, like, you could feel it like, if you pay attention to it, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you know, if you want to be a jerk and be like, yeah, I freaking feel it. Yeah, like, yeah. I guess you can put that out. But I felt more with the resin pad. Uh, yeah. Not so much on this one because it is thin. Yeah. Um, the resin pad just feels like it's more higher quality than this one. But this one just, this one just I don't know, I like it better. Yeah, me too. Like, I feel like slightly better, slightly better. Yeah, you know? I feel, I feel like if extra pads were to put a better base on it, uh, dude, it'll be like, freaking, it'll be awesome. You know what I like about these speed pads? That mm -hmm. they're really firm. So there's no like, if you put your, if you put a lot of pressure on your, on your, on your mouse, you, you put a lot of pressure down. You yeah. don't get that inconsistency where like uh, cloth pads, where like you, you, you tend to, it'll stay, like your tracking will slow down with that pressure. You know, uh, this is like yeah, super yeah. effortless. So I'm able to track like super. Super effortless, and I like that. Both pads. I like both pads, but I slightly like the extra pads a little more, just like you. Same. Um, uh, speed. Did you notice any speed difference? I mean, they're both fast, man. Yeah, they're both they, fast. They, they, they're both freaking they, fast. They're, they're both fast. I want to say not so much speed difference. They just one feels smoother than the other. You know? mm, like yeah, like they're both hard pads. They're both really freaking fast, right? I I couldn't personally. 
I want okay. I want to say maybe the thunder was slightly faster, but only because again it feels smoother. Like yeah, it feels it really does. smooth. Yeah, it does. So I don't know if it's smoothness that's making it feel fast, or if it's just as fast as the resin pad. But yeah. in my opinion, they they're both fast pads. You know, like who gives a f- you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you want a fast pad, then you get a fast pad. You know, like uh, like so that's that. Yeah, I felt the same, dude. Yeah, I like the extra pad one some. I actually like both. They're both freaking awesome pads. I like them both, but uh, I'm being mm-hmm. honest, I like the extra pad one just a slightly bit more. Yeah. And that's yeah. because of the performance that it offers. It's just slippery, fast. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. See, just like him, I also prefer the Thunder X Moss Pad over the Resin Pad. And that's only in terms of performance. Not to say that the Resin Pad's a bad Moss Pad, but I'm telling you, that that speed that the X that the thunder pad offers it's noticeable it's noticeable and it's noticeable enough for us to like that one pad more than the uh, resin pad i actually think it's funny how the base on the speed m moss pad was better on my desk and how the x-ray pad moss pad was be- uh, the base was better uh, was better on carlos's desk it's pretty funny right i guess it would just depend on the type of coating your desk has my desk kind of it's kind of like a plastic desk right carlos's desk is like a wood desk with a matte finish right so depending on the type of surface your desk is made out of will determine just how well these pads stay on your desk without them sliding around everywhere right i guess the best way to improve both moss pads is to get some type of base that will stick to all or most desks right um but yeah, uh, again, we had a great time with both moss pads. Thank you so much, X-ray pads. Thank you so much, NPET Tech. I'm sorry, that name is so confusing, right? NPET, NPET Tech. Thank you so much, NPET Tech, for sending the moss pad out. We really appreciate it, guys. We love both pads. We have blastable pads. I play well with both pads, but when it comes to tracking games like Apex Legends, the X-ray pad Thunder X truly shines. Sorry, if you guys aren't interested in picking up either pad, we're going to leave links down below. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will greatly appreciate it. We're almost at 5k subs. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Gus from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.